What's going on guys? I'm Robert and I believe truck driving can be one of the fastest vehicles for success. And today I am in the Portland, Oregon terminal and I wanted to make a quick video because apparently a lot of you guys that drive teams are having issues with your co-drivers in regards to, you know, who drives the grave shift, who drives the day shift. So I got a good answer for you and I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, so uh, a day later, I'm making the video, but I'm home now. Um, I just got caught up, couldn't make the video. But uh, listen, guys, if you're having scheduling issues with your co-driver and or you're a new driver and, you know, if you're struggling as to who's going to drive what, there's one simple solution. And I've been doing this for like the last month. And honestly, it's the best setup that I've ever had with team driving and that is the three o'clock switch all right so it's pretty simple but once again there's some diehard truckers out there that just can't wrap their head around this i, I don't it's beyond me i don't i can't understand it but all it is is no matter who's driving no matter who starts the week no matter who drives out from the terminal or however you start your next driving session you need to do the three o'clock switch. So whoever starts out, they drive till 3 p.m. And you switch at 3 a.m. So you guys are officially splitting the night shift, right? So no matter what, no matter what delays there are, if there's layovers, if there's breakdowns, whatever it is, you switch at three o'clock, period. There's no exceptions. So three o'clock, that's it. And look, it's fair because no one's stuck driving grave, right? So you're splitting the night at 3 a.m. And what I've found to be one of the most beneficial things about this is, uh, granted with FedEx, um, we have weekly home time. So we get two days off a week, typically. Um, one of the things that I hated the most and actually made me consider leaving this job was I hated driving grave because it would ruin one of my days off. Uh, because if you're driving grave and then you come back home and then during the day, people want to go out, people want to do things. You want to get out and do things because you want to live your life, obviously. But if you're driving grave, one of your days off is going to be ruined, period. Like you're going to have to rest. You're going to have to sleep and you're not going to get the most out of your day off. And that sucks. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your co-driver for when it's their turn to drive grave. So stop doing it. Switch at three o'clock, the three o'clock switch. Cause look, no matter how it, how it's spun, you're always going to split the night. So if you're driving the, the mostly the, the afternoon shift or evening shift, uh, you know, going to sleep at 3 a.m. is is very manageable it's very doable and for the other person waking up at 3 a.m. is very manageable it's very doable and it gives you enough energy to withstand the whole day so that way when you get out of the truck and you have a day off you could actually enjoy the day and do stuff and not be exhausted and tired and need to sleep because you guys are doing some stupid week on week off switch of the grave shift it's pointless and it's ruining your longevity in this job uh driving teams so look you guys try it out no matter what say you start at noon whoever's driving out only drives three hours right drive three hours till 3 p.m and then you switch and then though so no matter where you go what whatever the roadblocks are whatever delays always switch at three o'clock three o'clock switch it's gonna save you a promise and you'll like it because when you could actually do stuff on your days off and when you are actually not stuck driving the entire grave shift you're gonna see how beneficial this is so you guys try it out let me know and but i think you guys are really gonna like it let me know if this helps you guys in any way shape or form and let me know which or how many of you are gonna switch to the three o'clock switch method because I honestly think it's the best method out there. So let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon.